So I got to reading a forum and the guy had posted that he works in the Antarctic. He has one of these bags. He also had one of these. So he said he used the outer bag with one of these as the inner. And he said he was warm and he's working at minus 60 degrees um, Celsius. But after sort of zeroing to that minus level, doesn't matter whether it's in Celsius or Fahrenheit, it all works out pretty much the same. Bloody cold. Welcome to Bex Bug Out Fiber. So this is the improved Buffalo Sleep System. If you're thinking of buying one, or you've already got one and you want to adapt it for a better fit and even warmer, I'm going to show you how to do it. like I was saying, two-parter, an inner and an outer bag that connect together. The insulation on the buffalo bag is fibre pile fleece. It's not a batting. This element is what I'm going to replace the inner sleeping bag with now this is great if you're thinking of buying the buffalo system if i was to buy the outer but not the inner and buy this instead this is a lot better it's a lot lighter it's a lot less bulky it's certainly warmer so this is the fiber pile fleece sleeping bag as you can see it's not a batting or, or a wadding that goes between two layers an inner and an outer it has two bags instead the outer is pertax which is uh, wind resistant up to 50 mile an hour and both parts just connect together and the two parts are connected via a loop and a lace which just tie up okay so i'm going to remove this inner bag from the outer bag I haven't tied mine in just for easy demonstration so there's the outer bag on its own and the inner bag I'm just going to pop back into my um, 50 Bergen this inner bag is 1100 grams and some and it has the bulk of one sleeping bag a lot of people don't like it they say it's too bulky well using two sleeping bags realistically what do you expect on saying that two parts put together is only 2.7 kilos which for pertex and thick pile fleece if you don't get on with synthetic insulation it's not a lot at all british army cold weather bag i think is somewhere around 2.4 kilos it is absolutely tipping it down i've just got some shelter up here under the tree canopy for now uh, so before i crack this open and wait for the rain to ease off I'm just gonna get a brew on Pertex Buffalo was about 200 quid and the inner about 100 bringing the total to about 300 UK pounds so 300 quid buying the parts from Buffalo but if you switch 
to a top quilt instead shop around you might get them cheaper 340 quid so it's actually dearer doing it this way but what that saves is the weight the volume and even more insulating properties believe me this is warmer than two-part buffalo on its own believe me a lot warmer so if you're a serious buyer you might be better off getting a separate top quilt and then use the outer pertex put that on upside down ever doing that yeah it's going to save you a lot of um, disappointment in the end because it's not so tight anymore the outer bag on its own is plenty it's plenty big enough for a big guy like me I'm 42 43 inch chest and I'm only what a 5 8 which is about 172 173 centimeters I'm not gonna plunge it just yet I'm gonna wait for this to cool and in the meantime I'm gonna get the full system out and just very very quickly get my boots off get in this inner part here is bespoke made for me but you can get them online um, was 140 UK pounds this is my down filled summer top quilt it's not a sleeping bag there's no zip on it um, you put your feet in the bottom you drape it over your shoulders click it round the back of your neck toddle it up at the front amazingly warm I can get away with this in the summer so here's the foot box here my feet go in here comes around my shoulders and on this one is a hook I don't know if you can see that and a loop some have a pop stud pop that in on the front is a cinch toddle to get that up around my neck so there's no air draft getting in here so I'm not battling with two zips with this system just the one which is a central zip on the buffalo pertex outer the inner is this my new inner is goose feathers premium loft i think about 750 to 800 fill power and the foot box is going into the foot end of this sleeping bag here after that it's just a case of the one zip now on the outside and there you have it on one night camp what I did was took out my winter over quilt for camping the top blanket and I had this coat which is synthetic and I draped this coat over my goose down feathers and it actually made the system worse it didn't make it warmer so I thought I must be doing something wrong I tried putting this coat on the inside of a uh, duck feathered insulation same story just didn't want to work couldn't figure it out um, it seems in my experience insulation such as a fill power of 750 800 thereafter of goose feathers and synthetic insulation don't mix however um, this insulation which is the fiber pile fleece does mix really really well with the duck feathers initially it would have needed a very large compression sack to get the system in because it was two sleeping bags now on the other hand this is just my ordinary dry sack let's compress the air out now roll it it's 
exactly what we can do here. That is not bad. That is not bad. That is more a similar kind of sleeping bag size you'd expect. And yes, for winter, it is certainly the smallest winter sleep system I have. And it's a sleep system that works, speaking as a cold sleeper. The inner alone was 1100 grams, a little more actually. The inner now is 600 grams. So a good weight saving. I love the fact it's not so tight anymore. Get them into the Pertex outer. What I'm going to do Passing all this up ready. It's now much like most other central zip sleeping bags, only this time the inner is goose feathers. Now the outer shell is water resistant but not waterproof and it is raining straight on top of me. And the inner of the duck feathers or goose feathers just goes around my shoulders it's easier to get in and out in the middle of the night but for a guy who's on the wrong side of 45 that means on the hour every hour I'm up for a pee which means undoing two bags getting out quickly getting back in it seems to take about three four minutes just to get in your bags once you're in it's great, you'll have a great night's sleep, there's no doubt about that. It's a lot warmer, I don't need so much insulation directly underneath me because I've got a sleep pad for that. The original outer shell used to have a zip under the arms where I could pop my arms out and I could get my brew together. This hasn't. I wish I'd have bought the original mountaineering version of this. So that in essence is that done. It's not made it any cheaper, it's certainly made it lighter and it's made it warmer. So was it worth doing? even though it cost an extra 40 quid to put this together every time oh nice what's that spoon it was worth it i already had this top quilt from my summer hammock i didn't really go out and buy it just to do this project um, but if you are in the market for a buffalo and you're a big guy just get the outer and then I would save up a little bit more, it's only 40 quid more than the inner, to get a summer 800 fill down top quilt. Nice, nice. Could have put an extra sugar in it. So this video is just for people who are really serious and considering getting a two-part buffalo sleeping bag system. So that's your lot, it's not particularly cheap, um, but certainly better, a lot better. So from the point of view of a cold sleeper, it's a thumbs up for me. Until next time, take care of yourself and I will see you out there.